In this short video, we're going to look at how to make our output graphs uh, nice looking. Um, so I've just uploaded the data and created a graph here, but uh, I don't particularly like the size of the fonts. And uh, if I want to print this in black and white, I don't think I'll be able to differentiate between these curves. So let's look, start looking at uh, various ways of making this graphs nice. The first thing I'd like to show you is putting in grid points. So you go here, the edit plot, and then you double click like so. And it should open the plotting tools. And let's see. It takes some time there. Now you can put in an X label here, let's say time and seconds, and Y label, let's say amplitude. Now you can put in grids like so. Now, if you want to change the the thickness of these lines, this graph lines. So do something else all you need to do is go click on those I can change the color to black increase the size like so I don't like that too much but then I can go ahead and maybe put these markers like so Um, could change this for example put diamonds there I think there are too many points so you won't be able to see clearly anyways now if you want to change the font I can go ahead and click here and do an export set up and then go change fonts then let's make that 20 size 20 and I'll apply to the figure and save it so there I changed my font size to 20 hmm what else can I do I can put in legends legends basically tell you which graph is which so first one is input the second one is x third one is theta and the fourth one is current i and let's see legend the t and you'll get these like so i can go ahead and uh, maybe i don't want to don't want these uh, is here let's see huh. there. I don't want that I'll get rid of that and maybe make my lines dashed that looks much better and once again don't want that diamond shape and instead make my lines like so black maybe I'll change this to three right, and change this to three and then put very small dots so that you can differentiate everything and that looks like a much better graph now you can go ahead and export this to um, a picture you can export this like so to any kind of figure and matlab is the default uh, for file format you'll be able to read this figure back into matlab but we, we can go and save it as jpeg and let's see and i put it in here this one result yes and it should uh, have gone 
So let's look at our uh, quiz one result. Uh, there. Uh, let's see. No, this is and should be in four. And there you have it. A JPEG file that looks pretty nice and that's this can be included in your um, report now very nicely that's all there is to this lecture 